everyone, this is Garrett, and this is Serious Sam 2. We are about to do level 31, area 5100, and starting off the new episode, Kronor. Unbelievable! He collected all five parts! The medallion is complete! He did it! I knew it! You owe me 50. We now have the medallion! If you manage to get you to Sirius, Mental is doomed! If we manage? Is there a problem getting to Sirius? Oh yeah, you see? Planet Sirius is protected by an impenetrable shield. Impenetrable even to our powers. <laughs> you need a whole Lion's fleet to attack Sirius. And mighty cannon that can damage the shield. Where can I get those? This is Kronor, small moon orbiting around Sirius. Huge military base is situated there, which serves as a serious defense post as well as a prison facility. Thousands of Alliance warriors are imprisoned there. On the colder side of Kronor is another outpost, containing the most powerful laser cannon in the galaxy. If you locate the cannon, we can use it against Mental. It should have enough power to damage the shield. Sam, you must free Alliance warriors. Once you free them, they will capture enemy jet fighters and wait for you in the orbit to activate the cannon. Consider it done. And this plan is actually pretty fun. It does get pretty tricky, and technically I guess it's not really a planet so much as a moon. But first of all, we are just going to focus on getting all our weapons back because we just started a new chapter. Now I can do some serious gang banging. And with the start of every chapter, we have to pick up all our weapons again. Now there's a bunch of boxes here. We can break them with all the explosives we have lying around. But I don't think any of them actually contain anything, so we're just going to ignore them and move outside where there is a large quantity of enemies trying to kill us we're gonna ignore them for now just go up here kill that guy that spawns because he can be a little bit of a nuisance and grab the secret cannon which actually makes life a lot easier and sam makes a reference to something that takes too long to explain so you can just google that and uh let that be your reference for today Anyway, we just got the cannon, we used it to kill the helicopter, and now we are just going to get rid of the remaining enemies over here. Which shouldn't take too long, it's mostly the tank dude that's kind of hard to kill. But everyone else, they're just orcs, so we can just use our shotgun as per usual. That door's opening, which I was kind of hoping it wouldn't, because the moment you open that door, you actually end up spawning a couple more enemies. And I was hoping we could take care of those guys a little bit later, but I guess we're taking care of everything at once. Which is fair enough as well. These footballers spawn from inside there. And they can be a little bit of a problem. There's also two tanks inside there which are just going back and forth. So they're absolutely not a problem at all as long as we just keep moving. And I guess we might as well grab the grenade launcher. Which in this game is actually yeah, pretty good. I usually don't like it that much in a serious Sam game. Just because it's usually not as good as the rocket launcher. I mean this game... I don't know if I would choose the rocket launcher over this one due to the fact that the rockets in this game are just really slow in my opinion. This thing actually shoots quite fast and we also need a grenade to knock this thing down to get a serious bomb which I don't think we're going to be using but you know it's there and now we're back to three of those because we still have the ones from the previous chapters and because we walked inside here there is a bunch of enemies outside. If you play on too high a frame rate, those footballers are actually floating in the sky and they'll just never run towards you, which is pretty great. But we're just playing on a low enough frame rate to record and therefore we won't see such shenanigans. 
but just after taking down these guys, we have a couple options left to do before we continue on with the level. Just gonna kill these guys with our trusty new grenade launcher, which uh, is pretty good. Although, it's having some trouble killing these guys for some reason, but there we go. You do want to be pretty careful with this thing because the grenades do bounce around a lot in this game. Uh, it is very easy to hit yourself. It's very easy to just shoot way, way more powerful than you intend because it just goes all the way over there. Like it slides weirdly, which is kind of annoying. And there's a bunch of grenades over here. As long as you don't touch the middle of this place, you won't actually spawn a bunch of enemies. But we want to spawn as much as possible, obviously, because it's serious Sam and that's fun. And it spawns three of those guys, which can actually be pretty annoying if you do this battle in a very specific way. Which is by walking over here and standing in front of this green goop. Because the moment you jump into this green goop, you will instantly die. And that's obviously bad. And there's also sharks inside there, which is not very good. So we're just gonna turn these two valves, make the water fall down. You can still die if you touch it now, by the way, which is pretty silly, but what are you gonna do? And we're gonna grab this 100 health power up. And we're gonna grab one of the sharks. Because why not? They're just sort of hanging out there. They're actually just fins. But they were swimming. Like a real shark would. And there's an ammo pack. And before we move in that direction, we're actually gonna go over here. There is a gnar over there looking at this gate. Closing the gate the moment we get close to it. And we can actually kill it. And it has a bit of wonky animation. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen it fly like that before, but there you go. Uh, but after you kill it, it opens the gate automatically and we have access to this vehicle, which is actually pretty important, even though the level is quite small. It does spawn a couple of these guys, though, so you do want to be at least a little bit careful. But I kind of want to keep this thing alive. I kind of want to have this for a later part of the level, so I'm going to try my best to get it not killed. It is possible to do this level without this vehicle, but it's tricky especially the last battle of this level gets really really hectic if you don't have this thing which is why i'm gonna play a little bit safe and just gonna kill everything with this there's also a large amount of turrets which spawned just now because we walked uh, a little bit further forward like the moment we get over there this it spawns a turret over there and over there and there's gonna be a couple ones further up ahead as well and those turrets are the ones which we saw pretty early on in the game which Oh, we're also capable of insta-killing those helicopters as well, so if you want, you can be super duper careful and just go inside one of those and just kill everything from there. I do want to play around with this vehicle a li little bit though, I might switch it up every now and then just for fun. But th this vehicle is just so good at, gil at killing these guys, so you might as well just hang out here for a while. I'm actually just going to jump out, switch out, and just kill all these clears over here, which are just trying to destroy us. Because there's a pretty large chance that the vehicle will get destroyed otherwise due to the fact that there's just a large amount of stuff shooting at it. Also the turrets over here have a tendency to shoot at my turret because there's actually quite a lot of turrets here as well. And I think I'm about to lose. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's a bit unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. It's not even the end of the world if you do even end up losing this turret, but it is just a little bit safer. And in this particular level, I do like to take the safe route because I've had the last battle of this place just go wrong too many times and I'd rather not have that be a repeating experience. So just gonna be a little bit careful here. Actually gonna switch over to this turret over here to take down that helicopter and that guy over there. Due to the fact that like two shots from this gun is enough to kill one of the red biomechanoids and that saves us a lot of getting hit with missiles and a clear skeletons. I kind of don't want to hit my own hover fighter or whatever it's called. So I want to be a little bit careful, but the splash damage on that turret is humongous. It just hits everything, really. And I don't know if it's a better idea actually to just use a shotgun on this guy or something like that, because I find it usually a little bit easier to clip with the shotgun than with this thing. But whatever works in the end. And there's still a bunch of power-ups here as well. Also, there's a bunch of doors which uh, are actually openable, like the cutscene sort of said. I don't know if it actually said in the cutscene, but it says in the opening text of the mission is that there are a bunch of prisoners here which we are supposed to save. One of which is being held over here. And there's just a bunch of these blue guys from Planet Simba. And I really shouldn't have parked my vehicle right in front of the door, but oh well. Normally you'd go inside the turret. I'm going inside the vehicle now because it's not in a good place. 
but with, again, whatever works. There's not that many enemies, and you should generally be okay. My health is a little bit low on this thing, so I'm actually going to go on foot for now. And we are going to move on. There's another door over there, but it's actually just locked forever. There's actually nothing inside it either. There's just a door there, which is unfortunately unable to be opened. And if you clip through it with cheats, you'll find that there's just actually nothing behind it as well. So it's like, whatever. But we're just going to focus down all these enemies. There's actually going to be a fair amount of these guys. So I'm going inside this thing because it's still on full health. And it's very good at taking care of everything over here. I just destroyed my turret. <laughs> uh, I thought it was an enemy. Well, that's that might be a problem. And uh, I might die, but whatever, right? It's all in good fun. We're just going to try not to die too much. And... Just the large amount of enemies here is a real problem. You can see how quick my turret is just getting decimated over here. Because they all have a chance to just shoot before I even have a chance to just see them at all. So as long as you keep shooting in that direction, you'll get, you'll get rid of most of them. And this turret's gonna die in a second. Yeah, there we go. But I think we got rid of the majority there. Which is gonna save us some ammo. The ammo really doesn't matter because there's a bunch of ammo power-ups in this level. But if you are someone who doesn't like using ammo, then the turret did help us out a little bit. Plus two grenades and a shotgun shot is enough to kill those guys. I think the grenades might actually just be as powerful as the rocket launcher in this game. Whereas, I think in the previous series Sam games, the, the grenades were actually a little bit more powerful than the rocket launcher. And especially if you hit yourself with the grenade launcher in previous series Sam games, you just die. It just did so much damage. But in this game, it does seem a little bit weaker which uh, is unfortunate, but it does shoot very fast, so there is that. It has ups and downs. Also, that turret's over there. I'm just going to get rid of it, because while it is actually pretty good at killing its own friends for some reason, not really sure why, but it has a tendency of just destroying everything, I do want to get rid of it because it has really large projectiles and they hurt me a lot, and I want to have as much health for the next area as possible. So I'm just actually going to open these last two doors. I don't think you actually need to do this, but it does trigger the next area. So I'm just going to do it like this. But I think there is actually like another way to open up the level exit as well. So, but whatever. We're just going to do it like this because it works and it's probably the quickest way I know of. So we're just going to do it. Opening this door and getting all the stuff will get this to happen. Going to spawn a bunch of these clear skeletons over here, but we've got plenty to take care of that. And it saves the game, indicating a checkpoint, and it sets us up for the next area, which is this right here. So you want to start holding the movement keys while this cutscene is playing, because we are pretty much just going to get hit out of the cutscene, which is always fun. It's always fun when games do that, that you're already getting shot before the cutscene even ends. You can skip cutscenes in this game, but you know, I want to show off everything. But it is a little bit silly that the enemy starts shooting before you even have a chance to move otherwise. <laughs> Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but what are you going to do? We're just going to kill everything and hope that we don't die in this next area. This next area is uh, basically the part that concerns me the most. The moment we walk through this, it's going to spawn this right here. We won't be able to go back anymore. If you still have the vehicle and have it on the other side of the force field, you can actually enter the vehicle, and you'll just be stuck on that side forever. So obviously, you don't want to do that. But the rest of this battle is going to be fought over here, and I'm going to use my grenade launcher forever until it runs out. Because the moment we walk forward here, it's going to spawn bunch of guys and right now it's uh it's spawning them in pretty low numbers so we can easily take care of them but in a minute it's gonna spawn enemies in the back and it's gonna spawn them in further in the back and it's just a big of mess honestly the, the cannon is actually really good for this right now and i'm pretty happy we still have some of our ammo left from the previous chapter but there is just a bunch of rockets being shot at us right now and you can actually just unload your grenade launcher at this point as well, which is actually pretty effective. Again, you don't want to use too much power. Like, you don't want to hold the left mouse button too long. The longer you hold the left mouse button, the faster your grenade is going to fly out of your gun. And that's kind of bad here, due to the fact that it will just bounce all the way back to you and you'll just get destroyed by your own grenades. It's really, really dangerous to use too much force here, and you'll just end up killing yourself, like that grenade was trying to do over there when it accidentally hit one of the walls in the back over there. But we're just going to unload, and we're going to try to hit these clear skeletons, which are actually pretty good at dodging us for some reason right now. And mostly we're also going to focus down those cannon dudes in the back, and we're just going to try to keep surviving. As you can see, this would be a lot easier if we still had the vehicle 
<laughs> but we accidentally shot it with a big turret, so what are you gonna do? We're just gonna kill everything. If you're really doubting yourself, you can use a series bomb since series one is the start of the level. But I'm really not sure what a good timing for it is because it just keeps respawning more and more enemies. And it can get a bit dicey. It can get really dicey, actually. So, obviously, you're gonna want to use it at a good time to kill as much as possible, but simultaneously, there isn't really a very good time to ever use it. And the moment we kill all the enemies, there's probably still like an orc somewhere behind a thing. Oh, there we go. It spawns the minigun, which is not really going to be useful for this level. But it ends the level the moment we get that. And that was the first level of this chapter. It's pretty crazy, honestly, how hectic this level can get. And it's basically a taste of things to come for the levels onwards. And I... It is kind of an odd jump in difficulty compared to the previous chapter, but I really enjoy it because I, I, this is just where the game gets really fun for me. But I hope you enjoyed it so far. And the next time we play, we are going to loot level 32. And I don't know what that level is called. So I hope to see you there. Bye-bye.